How's it going everyone? You got your boy Corey here, aka Crasher, bringing you guys a new video, and this is a video that I wasn't expecting myself to have to make, but let's just say that what I had come across recently pretty much tipped the scales here when it comes to making this video, and it's something that I feel has to be done. Now, with that being said, there is a couple things I do need to get off my chest before proceeding any further with the video. First things first, this video, even though it is addressed something that is Pokemon related it could be deemed as drama so for all intents and purposes I want to keep that sort of stuff away from my other channel and put it on this channel where number two I can also be a little bit more unfiltered here in this situation and three no matter what I say here in this video and what I will be talking about here please do not go out of your way to harass or witch hunt anyone because that right there does not fulfill any positive purposes here regardless of what the situation is. Now, with that being said and out of the way, let's go ahead and let's proceed here with the video. And in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe that this whole video is from one single tweet. We're not talking about this tweet right here, but I will go ahead and give it some light because this right here, in all honesty, sums up my thoughts wholeheartedly about this down here, which we'll get into in just a moment. This person says, Fuck off. You people can't read, can you? This is about a hurricane and people are suffering or dying. Would it kill you for once to shut up? Everyone, this is the reason why you shouldn't protest on Masuda's account. Because vermin like this show up. Vermin like this tweet right here. Hashtag bring back national decks, hashtag we deserve it. And you guys are probably wondering, well, wait a second now. We see these sort of tweets all the time. Hell, Masuda, whenever he posts, has to put up with these sort of tweets all the time. But what is so different here about this situation? Well, if we scroll up here, we can see this right here. This is a tweet from Masuda where he's tweeting out about a hurricane that hit recently. And obviously that put people's lives in major, major jeopardy. And he's tweeting out his concern and all that stuff, right? And you would think that, you know, people would be all for it, right? Well, not this person. He says, hashtag bring back National Dex, hashtag we deserve it. But... The only thing that you deserve is the criticism and being ostracized for saying something so stupid at a complete inopportune time like this. And in all honesty, it's because of crap like this that people have disassociated themselves away from the Bring Back National Dex movement. I am all for the Bring Back National Dex movement, but there comes a time and place for everything, and this right here ain't it, Chief. This right here ain't it, and this right here just makes you look like a complete and utter clown. Now here's my thing, alright, is that I am all for the bring back national decks because here's the thing. Seeing Pokemon getting cut from Pokemon Sword and Shield absolutely suck. No word of a lie, it absolutely sucks. It crushed a lot of people, including myself, because there would be potential favorites from hundreds of thousands, if not millions of fans that could potentially not make the cut for Pokemon Sword and Shield. But we're talking about a video game here. We're talking about a freaking video game. When we compare that to real life scenarios, right? When we talk about real life scenarios like life and death and tragedy, you gotta put that shit aside and you have to think logically. But I guess that's a little bit too much to ask out of some people. They would much rather get what they want and could care less about how another person feels, you know? And it doesn't just go for the Bring Back National Dex movement. It goes for other movements too, you know what I'm saying? Like, every movement, you know, has some sort of principle behind it, you know? And even some of the best movements have their bad apples, have their toxic individuals that not only bring shame and tarnish the movement, but they also degrade and devalue what the movement truly is all about. And it's a damn shame because, you know what? Some of these movements have a lot of good-hearted, hard-working people in it. But you know what? Their work ends up going to waste when you have toxic individuals that go at it for the, all the wrong reasons. That go at it with malice, with evil designs, and for self-gain rather than for helping everyone within that movement be the best that they can be. 
as well as making the movement achieve its purpose without harming anyone in the process. And in all honesty, the Bring Back National Dex movement, I am all for it. You know what I'm saying? I want to see every single Pokemon make its way to Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, right? But, you know what, in all honesty, when you have such negativity, when you have such vitriol, when you have such selfishness that is mixed in with this movement that involves people that just want to see a damn feature be brought back into Sword and Shield, that right there is what makes people of that movement look really bad and want to even go as far as disassociate themselves from that movement because of people like that that misrepresent what this movement is really all about. You know, you can claim to be a part of a movement here, but if you are doing things that not only make those a part of that movement look really, really shitty, but you're doing things to actually damage the meaning of the movement itself, then are you really part of the movement or are you part of the problem? Me thinks for people like that, you're part of the problem. So ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much going to be a wrap up here for this video. I just kind of needed to get a few things off my chest about this. You know, not just using that tweet as an example of the toxicity within the Bring Back National Dex movement, but also just kind of, you know, give everyone a bit of perspective here that not all people within this Bring Back National Dex movement are like people like that. You know what I'm saying? There are good people that just want to see better for Pokemon Sword and Shield, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? But there's a time and place for everything, and there's also the proper way to represent your opinion, you know what I'm saying? But when you say things like this in something that is completely irrelevant, such as, for example, the tweet that I showcased earlier with Junichi Masuda tweeting out his concern for the citizens that got hit with the hurricane, that there, there's a time and place for everything, and that ain't it. That is definitely, definitely not it. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's a word of advice, all right? If you're going to be a part of a movement, represent it well, be a good person, and don't be an idiot like that person.